Uh, music is very important in today's world because it's a way of dreaming, it's the way of escaping what is happening every day, it's a way of uh, giving to the people that the, the wish that something different could happen. When Claude started the festival in 1967, he asked all the friends to come and help. And my father was part of them. Uh, so when I was a child, I've seen the pictures of Claude up in the chalet uh, and some stories that my, my parents was uh, telling me. Uh, so when I started to play music, uh, one of my dream was of course to be part of the festival, not as a musician, but as uh, an organizer. Wow, what a stage. We had a tremendous festival this year. Montreux Jazz Festival is a big festival, but it's a very small capacity festival. So we could not manage with money to bring major artists to come in a 4,000 capacity hall. Uh, in front of us, we have Coach, like Glastonbury, and all the very big festivals with 150,000 visitors a day. Uh, so it's not a question of how we're going to pay to the artists, but it's how we can manage to make them happening, not for money, but just for the hearts and for the experience. The success of such a festival is into the details. So for the artists is to be part of the history, of course. So when you're a young artist and you want to come to Montreux and you say, I'm playing on the same stage that Aretha Franklin, Nina Simone, James Brown, and all those big people, David Bowie, Prince, etc. It's an honor for them to come to Montreux. But honor is not the only thing that could convince an agent or manager to bring the artist to Montreux. What is different is, is really the way the artists are treated and how Montreux can change their career. Innovation is something which is really sticking to our DNA. We started with the HD television in 1991, 25, before, 25 years before the HD was on television in Switzerland. So innovation is something very important. So uh, we will always try to find a way not to surf on a trend uh, like new technology, blah, 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 but to use a new technology to turn the festival into the future. That's one point. The second point is how we can surprise the audience. Because I think when you go into a festival, you want to be surprised. You want to have something different. Uh, so we, we will push the experience uh, of the customer as far as we can. In, in the past years, festival, there were like creating a program and selling tickets and people will buy the tickets and come to the festival and that's it. And as you understand now, I'm coming from the hotel business and the customer experience is something very, very important. And I think we have to push this button as far as we can. So when we're talking about development in the future, we, we have two major axes of development. The first one is Montreux Jazz Artists Foundation, which is dedicated to the young talent, the young musician, to help them to enter their career and to develop their music in the future. And Julius Baer is definitely supporting the young musician forever, so it has made sense when we've met together that we're going to focus our collaboration on the Artists Foundation. Second part was Montreux Media Ventures that we created in 2019. It's a company that's creating, developing content digitally, but also new initiatives like the Spotlight, which is a digital vertical to develop and discover new musicians around the world. I know that Claude would love that I'm keeping the DNA, but keeping the DNA will not mean that being nostalgic uh, or looking to the past, but taking the past and turn it into the future.